Diabetes is one of the biggest health challenges we face. By 2030, it's estimated that one in 10 adult Europeans will suffer from the condition. But there are ways to treat it and even prevent it. Today, for World Diabetes Day, I am joined by international football legend, Gary Mabbott, who knows more about diabetes than most of us. And he's still got it. So Gary, you were diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 17 years of age. How did that come about? I was already a professional footballer uh, with Bristol Rovers playing in the English second division. And it was just after Christmas. I started to feel a bit lethargic. I was being very, very thirsty. I was drinking a lot of fluids. And we played a game away at Leicester. And I probably had the worst game of my career. And I went to the club doctor, he did a test, and within five minutes he said, Gary, you've got diabetes. He explained to me about what diabetes was. I had to be on injections for the rest of my life. They said I was a type 1 diabetic, which happens to, to younger people. Um, and my whole diet would have to change. How did you feel at the time when you were diagnosed? It was all a huge shock to the family. Of course, for me, the most important thing was my career. Would I be able to continue as a professional footballer? Um, my dad contacted uh, three top specialists in the field. They all came back and said they thought it would be very, very difficult to continue um, at the highest level of football with the condition. He contacted another person who was in London, uh, and this person came back and said, look, it hasn't happened before for somebody this young to have uh, diabetes and to uh, be at, play at this level, but let's give it a try. And uh, you know, fortunately, he was proved right. I remember looking up to my father and saying, look, Dad, I'll be the first person with diabetes to play for England. As a professional football player, how did you have to adjust your lifestyle to manage the condition? Well, on match days. Uh, but of course, I had to get a number of carbohydrates inside me to counteract the insulin I was taking. So we had to find a way to get that carbohydrate inside you without having too much bulk. I was using digestive biscuits at the time. I used to love fizzy drinks all the time. I used to also used to have sugar in my tea. But I was able to use, you know, substitute that with low calorie sweeteners, which meant that I was still able to enjoy the food, but obviously without the sugary intake. Gary, you have type 1 diabetes, but there is a type 2 diabetes, which is much more associated with lifestyle, particularly things like a sedentary lifestyle, calorie dense foods, and around weight management. Can you give us some idea about the difference between the two? Well, type 1 is generally when you're diagnosed when you're a youngster. Then, unfortunately, once you've been diagnosed with diabetes at a young age, you're on injections probably for the rest of your life. Type 2 diabetes usually occurs when people are getting older, and it's down to lifestyle. People maybe do less exercise, maybe their diets are changing, and in those situations, people can put on weight. And they are the conditions whereby type 2 diabetes can unfortunately kick in. It is preventable if people look after themselves, they exercise on a regular basis. You know, there are ways that you can stop it happening. And you know, it's vitally important for anybody, not only people with diabetes, but as they get older, to keep themselves fitter. So how important is physical activity with diabetes? Physical exercise is very important for anybody, not just people with diabetes. Exercise will lower your weight. Exercise will lower your blood sugars. It will lower your blood pressure, lower your bad cholesterols in the body. Not only that, it will help with the relaxation, it'll help get rid of the stress in you as well. So all those things are very helpful for anybody, not only people with diabetes. Gary, how do you spread the word? Is there enough being done to educate people about diabetes? I'm patron of Diabetes UK, so we work extremely hard to try and get out the message to people about diabetes and the conditions that affect people with diabetes. I think what is vitally important is that people have to realise that if they are feeling under the weather, if they're drinking a lot, they're feeling very, very thirsty, they're feeling lethargic, go to your doctor, get a test done, and they can tell you within seconds if you have diabetes. What's your final word of advice to anybody with diabetes who feels it's holding them back? Having been someone with diabetes for the last 35 years, I can categorically say that no matter what you want to achieve in life, whatever your aims, whatever your ambitions, whatever your dreams, as long as you look after yourself properly, that means maintaining a correct diet, maintaining your medications, whatever you want to achieve, diabetes will not hold you back. Well, thanks very much, Gary. It's been absolutely fantastic talking to you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.